press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. In India, the High Court is set to decide on a highly sensitive issue. Is marital rape legal? Well, this past October, the Supreme Court ruled that if a husband has intercourse with his wife and she is under 18, he's committing an act of rape. Well, that decision was hailed as a milestone in the fight for equal rights for Indian women. Now, women's activists, as well as victims, are hoping that sexual abuse and marriage will be judged the same way. This woman can't go to the courts, and her family doesn't understand her problem. That's why she's come to this Women's Support Center. Priya is in her early 20s. The mother of two was forced into an arranged marriage six years ago. Since then, she's been tormented and abused by her own husband. He'd wake me up in the middle of the night and pressure me for sex, even when I was ill. When I tried to stop him, he hit me. Sometimes I would not be able to sit down for days or move without pain. Unlike Priya, 60-year-old Suresh is willing to have her face shown on camera. Her suffering started 20 years ago. Now she wants to go public with her story, even if her relatives condemn her and say she's tarnishing the family's honor. Suresh is now divorced. Her ex-husband cheated on her with his own daughter-in-law. Nevertheless, he still wanted to have sex with me, even though I refused him. He got drunk, he hit me and raped me, repeatedly. I ran away. Chaitali is a women's rights activist from Delhi who supports victims of abuse. She can find women new jobs or a new place to live, but she can't give them justice. Husbands who force their wives to have sex with them are technically not breaking the law in India. The basis for this is the patriarchal tradition here. A woman is viewed as the property of her father. After she's married, she becomes the property of her husband. She has no autonomy. She has to simply comply or she'll be beaten. The film Lipstick Under My Burqa addresses these issues. It's about women's aspirations and their fears, including being abused by their husbands. The film was initially banned in India after being censored by authorities. The director says the film hit a little too close to home. So I do feel that there's, um, there's a high level of uh, uh, abuse within, uh, within marriages, within relationships also, but definitely within... Uh, marriages and it becomes very difficult because you're always told to work it out. There could soon be another option, the legal one. India's Supreme Court is due to hold a hearing on the issue. The court recently ruled that sex with a wife who is under the age of 18 is a crime. But will this lead to marital rape being outlawed? Even at this respected and progressive women's university in Delhi, opinion is divided. Many here say they would welcome a new law. But others argue it could be misused. There have been many cases registered where women have utilized the rights of these dowries and all in a negative way and misused them. Physical intimation is something which is very personal to a couple, but again it's a rape so we cannot neglect it. And of course our consent, whether we want to get touched or not, is highly important. On the day of the hearing, Chaitali and a number of other women's rights activists have come to the court. Then the news that the session has been postponed to a later date. But Chaitali says that's not necessarily a bad sign. We have to be patient. Society is not going to change so quickly. Above all, what has to stop is the belief that women are essentially men's property. That won't happen overnight, even with a new law. But it would be a step in the right direction. Even if the Supreme Court takes its time with the ruling, victims and activists campaigning for change are confident that it will ultimately make the right decision in women's favor. And our correspondent, Sonia Falnikar, is covering this story for us in Delhi. Sonia, contextualize this for us. How big of a problem is this in India? Well, it seems 
just we're pretty big. You know, a number of um, studies done over the years suggest that sexual violence within marriage is, is prevalent. Now, statistics by the United Nations say that women in India are 40% more likely to be raped by their own husbands than by a stranger. And India's own National Family Health Survey has also shown that the vast majority of um, uh, sexual violence reported by women occurs within the marriage. Um, you know, when I reported on the issue, I spoke to several campaigners on the ground who also backed it up. They said that in their experience, many women who enter arranged marriages are, you know, often raped on the first night uh, by their husbands. So evidence points to the fact that this is fairly widespread. All right. Well, uh, to that point, why has the Indian government never made marital rape a crime? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, leaders of um, the, the ruling um, uh, Bharatiya Janata Party, that's the Hindu Nationalist Party. Now, in recent years, they've rejected uh, growing calls to outlaw marital rape. They argue that this is against the culture of India. They say it could destabilize the institution of marriage. One lawmaker has even said marital rape, uh, you know, cannot be applied in the Indian context because of factors such as poverty, illiteracy, religious beliefs, even mindsets of the society that tend to treat marriage as a sacrament. But of course, that has been slammed by critics here. Critics say, you know, by, by failing to, to criminalize marital rape, the Indian government is really ignoring an enormous uh, problem in sexual violence, and it's failing to protect women from abuse. Mm -hmm. How are police and courts dealing with this problem? Uh, what can, who can women turn to who face marital uh, rape? Well, I think that's a problem. I mean, activists here say that, you know, survivors of marital rape are often simply not taken seriously by the authorities. You know, I interviewed a lawyer once who was representing a woman who had uh, faced horrific marital rape by her own husband. When He told me that when she went to the police station to file a complaint, the officers there told her, you know, played it down. They said this is a normal thing that happens between a husband and wife and that she should work it out. The problem here is that Indian laws, you know, do not explicitly acknowledge rape within marriage. So there's very little in terms of relief that they can offer uh, women. Right now, um, adult women who face uh, other marital rape can, can file a complaint under the uh, Domestic Violence Act in a civil court. But there are no legal provisions to really punish uh, the, the crime as such. So that remains a big, a big problem. All right. Sonia Falnikar reporting in Delhi. Thank you.